Does this paper show in the...
Good evening, everybody, and uh, welcome to our live stream. We're very excited to be uh, playing some music this evening. We're coming to you from, once again, from Jenkintown, Pennsylvania, just uh, north of Philly, and uh, very happy to be playing some music and happy that you're joining us. Uh, we have the great Matthew Parrish on the bass, Jason Tiemann on the drums, and a very excited to have one of the world's great vibraphonists, Warren Wolf, with us this evening. Uh, we're celebrating the music of two of my heroes, uh, Milt Jackson and Ray Brown. And uh, we're going to start the first portion of the evening playing a few arrangements of Ray's from his trio. And I had the great honor to play in Ray's trio. And this first piece is uh, his arrangement of a tune made popular by Frank Sinatra uh, and others. This is called The Summer Wind.
<laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, we'd like to continue now with one of Ray's great arrangements. Uh, he wrote this uh, section that's the intro and the uh, ending. It's almost like another beautiful little composition unto itself. And uh, this is uh, his arrangement of Neil Hefty's Little Darling.
Thank you so much. How about Jason Tiemann on the drums? Great Matthew Parrish on the bass. We're going to play one more piece before uh, we bring up our spectacular, wonderful guest artist. Uh, Ray Brown had a long association and uh, worked early on in his career with Dizzy Gillespie. And this is his arrangement of Dizzy Gillespie's Tin Tin Deo. Thank you. 
All right. Once again, Jason Tiemann on the drums, Matthew Parrish on the bass. Before we bring up our very special guest, I'd just like to say a few words. Uh, we thank you all for joining us, and uh, if possible, uh, for those of you who are able to donate, we greatly appreciate it. It takes quite a bit of effort and uh, money to do this stream, actually. And uh, having said that, I would like to uh, acknowledge my great, dear friends, uh, Bill Hart and his wife Margie out in uh, Napa Valley. Uh, uh, at the Napa Valley Jazz Society. It's one of our uh, favorite places to play, and it's one of our favorite uh, parts of the world, and they just have a great uh, musical community of folks who love and support jazz, and uh, they gave us a very nice uh, donation towards uh, uh, doing this stream tonight, which has really helped, and we're very grateful to them, and also our friends at Yukon Jazz, which is another great um, uh, jazz society up in uh, the Yukon Territory, and we were so thrilled to go play there last year, and uh, Jason and I actually, and uh, my wife, we went out uh, after the concert and actually saw the Northern Lights, which was pretty incredible, so... Uh, thank you to both of uh, both the Napa Valley Jazz Society and uh, Yukon Jazz for supporting this uh, show tonight. And uh, we're very excited to have one of the world's great vibraphonists. I was very happy when he said he could join us this evening. Uh, we'd like to welcome the incredible uh, Warren Wolf. I'd like to start out with a piece by Milt Jackson. This is called Bag's Groove.
Do I think uh, we're going to do Django? Yes, yes. Cool. You want me to talk about it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess it's this way. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. We're actually going to uh, play a tune uh, that Milt Jackson played very much with the uh, modern jazz quartet. This tune is composed by the pianist in that group, John Lewis. This is titled Django.
Next, a piece that Ray Brown and Milt Jackson often played in their fantastic quartet, which uh, was comprised of also uh, the great Cedar Walton on piano and Mickey Roker on the drums. Uh, this is an original piece of Ray's that they played in that quartet quite often. This is called Used to Be Jackson. Thank you. 
All right, next a beautiful ballad by the great composer and arranger Johnny Mandel. This is another piece that uh, Ray and Milt love to play in their quartet. And this is, uh, I believe, from a Agatha Christie movie originally. Uh, but uh, this is his beautiful uh, composition, Close Enough for Love.
All right. Thank you so very much. Once again, uh, I'd like to thank these incredible musicians. Please give a big virtual cyberspace <laughs> and for uh, Jason Tiemann on the drums. <laughs> Matthew Parrish on the bass. <laughs> We'd like to thank Matthew uh, and uh, his uh, Bump Productions for putting on these incredible high quality streams. If you could only see what he's put together here. It looks like a small uh, television studio with all the uh, lights and uh, high-end uh, microphones and beautiful cameras, and uh, we appreciate all the effort thank you very he much. puts into this. We thank Cunningham Piano and, and Yamaha. We'd like to thank Yamaha Pianos and Cunningham uh, Pianos in uh, Philadelphia. They're one of the great piano dealerships in the United States. I actually had a the pleasure of going over there uh, one time and uh, touring the store and it's pretty incredible uh, all the work they do um, so we'd like to thank them for uh, supplying this piano and I'd like to thank once again uh, Bill and Margie and all the folks out at uh, Napa uh, Valley Jazz Society for their contribution and uh, the folks up at Yukon Jazz and uh, if you can uh, find it uh, uh, possible to donate to us. We really appreciate that. It takes uh, so much uh, uh, work to put this together, and uh, these incredible musicians are, uh, you know, having uh, difficult times during this pandemic that we're in. So we appreciate all the support, and uh, we can't wait to play for you all live uh, soon. I'd like to thank once again the incredible uh, Warren Wolf on the Vibes for joining us. And uh, it's been such a pleasure playing the music of uh, Ray Brown and Milt Jackson. It was a thrill in my life to get to play with Ray. And uh, we'd like to close out with a piece that um, uh, Ray and Milt recorded on uh, an incredible recording, one of the most swinging records. I grew up listening to called That's the Way It Is. It was recorded out in, at Shelley's Manhole in, I believe, 1969 with the great Teddy Edwards and the great Monty Alexander and Dick Burke on the drums with, uh, of course, Ray and Milt Jackson. And uh, this is called Frankie and Johnny. <laughs> 